There are times when it can be extremely useful to multiply the number of checked boxes by a particular number. Here's how. So here in my spreadsheet, I have this list of dates and then fake addresses. This is for something like a Airbnb business or similar where you have different addresses you're renting out for particular days, right? And for simplicity's sake, we're gonna assume that each of these rents for $200 a night, okay? So this should be $600 in the total. This should be 200, 200, 600. And we come down here, we can see some that are just two of them checked for 400, etc. right? So the basic thing I want to do is a count if I wish that we could just use count A, but the blanks do count as data, they're false. So I need to use count if my range is going to be that row, true. That's That gave me all three of them and I'm gonna multiply that by 200. That's my basic formula. And now I'm going to wrap this in the by row function so that we can specify the entire range is B2 all the way through E32. So B2 through E32, lambda, we're just gonna call that R for simplicity for row or whatever. Now on each row, we want to perform this count if function. So I'm gonna replace B2 through E2 with R and then close out at the end. Just like that, it fills out the entire column. So the basic formula we're doing here again is counting all of the true values multiplying by a value, and then performing that over the entire range row by row. 